Today our fourth daughter goes for her kindergarten interview so she can be enrolled in kindergarten this fall. It feels like somebody's hit a fast forward button with my kids growing up. But you know, uh, some of my favorite memories with my kids are when we would play the peekaboo game. When they were really little, they were babies and we'd lay them down on the ground or on the couch, grab their little fingers or their little toes and we'd put them up over our face and I would look at them and I would say, who's your daddy? And then I would pull their feet or their hands away and they would just giggle and laugh. And um, you know, I think out of all the titles or names that people might call me, daddy has to be at the top of the list as a favorite. You know, I was thinking about that question that I would say with my kids, who's your daddy? And really you could ask it a couple of different ways, couldn't you? I'm thinking about the NBA star who goes in for the dunk and uh, he just posterizes somebody. He, he just embarrasses the opponent. And as he's hanging on the rim, waiting for his opponent to get up, and then he jumps down and he looks in his face at, who's your daddy, right? Maybe it's used in another way. Maybe it's in a cheesy, semi-romantic sort of setting. You got a little Barry White music in the background and the husband tries to lower his voice. And, Who's your daddy? <laughs> Please don't do that. Um, but you know, as the Apostle Paul was writing to the church in Rome, he had a question for the Jews who believed in Jesus and also the Gentiles who believed in Jesus. And the question was a really simple one. Who's your daddy? Well, for the Jews, they would have been able to instantly answer that question. Well, it's got to be Abraham. He's the forefather of our faith. He's the one who God came to, God made promises, and then Abraham had this covenant with God. Circumcision was this seal of the covenant, and it's been passed down. We still carry it today. The Jews would have said, obviously, Abraham is our spiritual forefather. The Gentiles who believed in Jesus, on the other hand, they didn't have this rich history and spiritual heritage. So many of them had come out of a life of idolatry. They had abandoned all of their idols and the worship of many gods to really follow the one true God, Jesus. And so if you were to ask them, as Paul did, well, who's your daddy? Um, spiritually, they would have said, well, I, I don't know, maybe the person who led me to Christ, or they might have brought up a mentor, somebody that had helped them spiritually. But as Paul writes to the church in Rome to both Jewish believers in Jesus and Gentile believers in Jesus in Romans chapter 4 verses 1 through 12 he wants them to know that they both are united in their answer to that question of who's your daddy and he wanted them to know that uh, whether they were a Jewish believer in Jesus or a Gentile believer in Jesus that they had the same spiritual forefather Abraham was the spiritual forerunner for both he, he was the one who launched their spiritual faith, whether it was the Jewish believer in Jesus or the Gentile believer in Jesus. Paul reminds the Jews that it wasn't Abraham's works of righteousness or following the law that God used to declare him as righteous. Uh, before there was ever a covenant, before there was ever a law to follow, God made promises to Abraham and Abraham simply chose to believe God. And that simple act of faith is what God used to count Abraham as righteous. And so Paul wanted to remind the Jews and the Gentiles who believed in Jesus, if you've come to be righteous before God, not of your own works, but by faith in Jesus, then you know the answer to who's your daddy. Abraham was the spiritual forefather of both the Jews and the Gentiles. And so today, uh, if you wanna dig a little deeper into Romans chapter four, verses one through 12, then you can just click on the link below to download the discussion guide. Maybe you want to get together with your family uh, after dinner. Maybe you want to get together with some coworkers around a lunchroom table. Um, if you're part of Christ Community C Groups, then this is your chance to dig a little deeper into our series. Um, and so you can just download that discussion guide and go through your questions now. But before I leave you today, I guess I would just ask you, like Paul, who's your daddy?